seven. That was nearly a fabulous finish from Luke Humphreys. But look at this from Ryan Searle. Look at this from Ryan Searle! Look at this from Ryan Searle! Amazing dart! The pause from his opponent! Wow! Part one. The billet. Tungsten arrives at the factory in a billet. The billets come in all shapes and sizes and are pre-cut. You can see the raw cylinder shape here. They're placed in this drum and then they work their way all the way around the outside, progressing into the actual machine. It's funny to think that your tungsten darts that you throw actually started their life like this. The machines are calibrated and programmed after which point the process is an automatic process. Now unfortunately with this machine, it uses a lot of lubricant, so it can sometimes be hard to see exactly what's going on. Inside the machine will do cutting and milling depending on how advanced the machine is. You can see some of the drill bits working inside to create the shaft screw point and the other end where the point goes. Each little detail of the barrel is intricately milled and cut in this machine. And because it's a machine, it will be accurate, without variation compared to that of a handmade dart. As you can see, it's quite an abrasive process, so temperatures can run quite high. I'm quite thankful that I'm behind a protective barrier because the amount of lubricant that's going everywhere would have been a complete mess to film and it would have been absolutely soaked. With the barrel almost finished now, it'll come out at this point here and be collected in a box. Now usually it goes through a more advanced cleaning process but just for this video they kindly cleaned up this dart and showed me how they would point the dart and send it on its way. I wish I had a repointer like this, look how quick and easy it is. And just like that, we have a Ryan Searle barrel with point completed. Part 2. Flight Printing Now as you can see there's all different colour rolls here depending on the flight that they're going to be printing. As the rolls go through the machine it'll print a different colour based on the primary colours that you get in printing. Pink, blue, yellow and black. These print hundreds and thousands of flights at the same time and now we're going to speak to the chap who works on the alignment. Who's the main man? The alignment man? Yeah. So what what is what is that? What does that do? That's a register. All the four colours. They'll be lined up together the closer they come. Oh okay. Again getting closer now. So you have to get like that blue yeah. over. Okay. Ah nice, okay. And I'll just picking out the yellow. So each of those different colours is aligned and when they're perfectly aligned the darts will come out as expected. It was quite amazing to see how much material is actually wasted before it gets to the proper alignment and it's easy to see now why in custom flights a quantity of 10 may be quite difficult to do or maybe not worth their time. It's quite a fiddly process but once it's finally done the final product does look stunning especially in the Ryan Searle range with those heavy metal details. This is where it gets the final touches and is then all collected on a roll. Now all four of those in a row represent the four sides of the flight. Once the roll is completed it will be taken to a different section where it will be pressed and cut to the finished product. 
off they go. Hundreds of Ryan Searl flights, all collected on this roll at the end. Let's get these flights pressed, merged and cut. Now depending on what flight you have depends on which plate needs to cut the flights in here so it does take a bit of time to switch over the plate depending on the size. These are a large standard and the plate is already in so all that needs to happen is it needs to be fed into the machine and out the other side. You can even see it says number two on the metalwork there. It's fed through the machine and on the back side is where it collects all of the waste. Underneath where the plates actually press is where the flights are collected. Now we can enjoy this process from start to finish watching them fold, be pressed and fed into the machine where they're cut and the excess comes out the other end. A lot like us really. And here we have a finished product. A heavy metal Ryan Searle Loxley flight in the number two shape. Nice. Part four, bagging and tagging. Now this is quite an interesting process. They will weigh the flights, say 50 sets of flights. They then set that as the value. You can then pour the rest of the flights in there and it will tell you how many flights or sets you have. Although I've been told you usually get a few freebies in there. Once the quantity has been met, they're then bagged, tagged and sent off. Simples. Part 5. Stem printing. This conveyor belt allows for two stems at a time to be sat perfectly aligned ready for printing. These are manually added and as it rotates around you'll see the print on the other side. These can of course be set to print different colours, in this case we have a blue stem with white paint. It's quite a nice colour combination actually, I've not seen it before. Nice to see it in person here being made. I loved watching this actual conveyor belt at the end where all of the stems fell into a box and were collected. And there we have it, a Loxley stem, printed, finished, done. Part 6, laser etching. There are lots of health and safety standards to be followed here and the protective case must be down at all times. Inside though you can see the sparks as the etching is completed. It's quite a fascinating process and can be incredibly detailed. Once it's finished, it's checked, quality controlled, weighed and put with the rest. Those of you with a keen eye will realise these aren't the Ryan Searle darts, but the etching is done in the same way. 
The etching looks really nice, a lovely finished product. Part 7, Barrel Painting. Now these darts are hand painted. They do use a machine to assist them though. In the case of the Ryan Searle dart, there's black and red paint additions. It takes a skilled, steady hand that's trained to make sure you get the best paint effects. But also with the machine's help, you can hold a bit of tissue over the dart as it rotates to clean up and make sure that the outside is nice and clean and in the divot that you've painted is where the colour sits. I was amazed at how quickly she was able to do this but I guess she does so many a day she's now a pro. Once they're finished the darts will be collected, quality controlled and sent off. Here's a close up so you can see it in action. And here we have it, the finished Ryan Searle barrel, paint included, etching included, and I'm exhausted so I think we'll call it a day there. Part 8, Home Time. Thanks for watching.